Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will discuss about three types of chassis. The first one is conventional chassis, the second one is semi-forward chassis and third one is forward chassis. So first of all, we will discuss about conventional chassis. So in conventional chassis, here you can see that, okay, the engine is mounted in front side of the cabin or we can say it is mounted in front side of the driver seat. Here. The chassis portion it is not utilized for the uh, goods and passenger. So in these types of chassis, uh, the driver visibility is obstructed by this portion. Okay. So in these types of chassis, okay, the engine is mounted uh, in front side of the driver cabin. Here the chassis portion is not utilized for the goods and passenger. And uh, in these types of chassis, uh, heavy engine can be fitted, uh, which can use to give more power this is the advantage of these types of chassis the second one is semi forward chassis in semi forward chassis here you can see that uh, the half portion of the engine it will remain inside the cabin and the half portion of the engine it will remain outside the cabin so in these types of chassis okay uh, some space of the chassis it is utilized for the goods and passenger this is the advantage of these types of chassis and these types of chassis it is found in tempo and truck okay in few model of the tata truck it is available these types of chassis and it is found in tempo okay so uh, uh, this is the example of uh, semi forward chassis and it is also found in uh, a few model of the van so here the half portion of the engine it will remain inside the cabin and the half portion of the engine it will remain outside the cabin so here the driver visibility is good as compared to the conventional chassis so in conventional chassis what's happened the uh, front area okay it is not utilized for the goods and passenger because here the engine is heavy engine is mounted okay so it will create the obstruction okay for the uh, driver visibility on the uh, road surface while in case of a semi forward chassis here the 50 percentage of the engine portion it will remain inside the cabin and the 50 percent of the engine portion it will outside the cabin so uh, the uh, few area it is utilized for the goods and passenger and uh, few area uh, it is remain outside the cabin so here the uh, driver uh, visibility obstruction is less as compared to the uh, conventional chassis Okay, and the example we have already discussed, tempo and uh, the few model of the van. Okay, these types of chassis we found. The third one is forward chassis. Okay, here you can see that in forward chassis, okay, the wool engine, okay, it is mounted inside the cabin. Okay, and uh, here uh, the driver visibility is good, better as compared to the other two types of chassis here the uh, boot space is uh, good as compared to the conventional and semi forward chassis because here the engine is mounted inside the cabin and the uh, driver seat is just above the front wheel okay and the example of these types of chassis we found in uh, truck bus okay so in this video lecture we discuss about three types of chassis and its advantages and disadvantages with example so I hope this information it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends. Thank you friends for watching this video.